Hi, welcome to the Genesis Systems demo of Node Chakra Core running on iOS. First, we're going to walk you through some build instructions so you can try it out yourself. In here, we have already cloned the GitHub repository for the demo, which you can also find in the video description. We have also already installed the prerequisites mentioned in the project's README, such as an updated Xcode, Node, Watchman, and React Native client. We'll start by running npm install to install dependencies for both the React Native and the Node part of the project. While that runs, let's take a look at the project structure. The project was initially created as a React Native default project, from which we have deleted the Android part. We have in here the index.ios.js file, which is the main file for the React Native code. The Node project path contains the Node.js portion of the code, with the main script and its own package.json. Inside the Node libs folder, we have an Xcode framework with the Node Chakra Core runtime already compiled. Inside the top level iOS folder, we have the Xcode project file, which we will open after npm finishes installing all the dependencies. We'll have to wait a little bit for that. As we can see, npm install completed. NPM has created a node modules folder inside the project root for the React Native dependencies, and another one inside the node project folder for the node part. The node portion alone installs more than 300 modules, counting all the unique dependencies. We're now going to run React Native Link, so that React Native can link our native modules with the Xcode project. In this case, React Native tells us that they're already linked because nothing has changed since the last time we ran it. Now we're going to open the Xcode project. We'll start by configuring the target with a unique bundle identifier, so that it doesn't conflict with other people running the same project under a different development identity. And we set our development team in the signing section. After that, we make sure that we have our test device connected and selected, and then we hit the launch button to build the project and deploy the application to the device. This starts the React Packager in parallel with the project build. Once this phase completes, the application will start on the device. We will now skip to that part. Our demo is a React Native application with no Chakra Core running in the background. The purpose of the app is to provide photo albums that can be synchronized among any number of devices on the same network in a peer-to-peer -peer fashion. The Node.js runtime is used to run a PouchDB instance on top of MemDown. This combination provides for both storing the images and replicating them across peers on the network. Peers discover each other by means of UDP broadcast, which is also easily implemented with Node. We can see that we already have the application running on the device on the left, with some photos already in there. Let's now start the application on the other device. As the application starts, it loads the React Native scripts while starting the Node.js runtime in the background. On this screen, the app shows the Node.js process versions. As you can see, we're running a pre-release version of Node 8 with Chakra Core. Let's see the app in action. We're now in the albums view, and the device has already performed the initial sync. When we open the first album, we can see that we already have the two photos that were synced from the other device. Let's add another photo. Let's choose one from the gallery. And let's add a caption. The photo is now added to the album and it quickly synced to the other device. We're now going to add a photo on both devices simultaneously. The 
Thanks to PouchDB, synchronization works seamlessly. Even at this early stage, we're quite pleased with the stability of Node on iOS and how well it handles a scenario with such a rich set of modules and dependencies. This concludes our demo. Thanks for watching.